Welcome to the introductory tutorial for Tribune Times, our responsive news template. So let's jump right in and check this out. Here is Tribune Times. It's a great news site. Up here in the top, we've got our menu and we have our latest news with features here, our breaking news, breaking news scrolls, when you click the buttons. And as we go down here, we've got over here a subscribe. This is the AC wide mailing. Um, component and module so you can have send newsletters and have people subscribe to newsletters over here we have uh, our categories add here here's our latest media this is our power tabs component and module and this is showing uh, k2 articles this is categories here we have a quote of the day over here and now we have our categories of US news world news authors over here a poll more categories, latest comments from K2, down here more news, the archives of K2, and standard modules for menus here, menu links, and then our footer down here with the copyright. So let's go back up to the top and go over these module positions. Up here in the top left we have a date and time module. Just look at the docs about this. It's a third party module that's free. And here is our logo, and the logo is altered from the template manager. You just go into the template manager and select what logo you want to use and uh, what kind of padding, uh, the width and height. We also have included a mobile view logo, so you can switch out the logo at mobile view if your logo is too big here. And then over here in the top right position, we have the core Joomla search module. Next we have the menu. The menu is in menu bar left position and right now it's set for the dual fish. We have dual fish and sucker fish styling and that's set in the template administrator. Next over here hidden right now we have a menu right one and that only shows at the mobile level. We'll go over that in a moment. Menu right two is our slide panel module and this is for a login. When you click it it slides down a nice little login area close that and favorites this is just a custom HTML module in menu right three and this links to our reading list component of which we'll discuss later next we have menu bar two and menu bar two is just a, another Joomla menu that has the categories here from K2 now getting into the template we have user one this is a custom HTML module where we have scalable text to give you this title underneath that we have our K2 content wall this is showing articles from K2 and basically this is showing in a row fashion and we have our main area here and then we have the more area over here and this is all done in one module. Over in the right two we have the breaking news that's also the K2 content wall. So as you see the K2 content wall can do a lot of different things. Uh, just check it out our demo on our demo site for it and you'll see a lot more. Um, in this one we're actually using a slider so you can have multiple articles here sliding with the buttons and in also in right two we have a custom HTML module that's showing a advertisement and this has the border suffix on it then we have the ACY mailing module and the ACY mailing module has a Q tag suffix to give it this little tag on the top and the ACY mailing module is a free mailing list component and module from ACY guys and over here we have our K2 category wall this is also in right 2 and this links right to the K2 categories next we're gonna go here to user 13 user 13 we're using our power tabs component and module to show several modules in a tab layout so as you see here we've got different tabs and each one of these tabs is loading a module position with the load position call. You can read the documentation on this a little further to get the understanding of it, but all these are is K2 content walls as well. And it's just showing the intro image and it links to the article and there's a video in the K2 article. So now we're going to scroll down to user 22. Same as the latest news in user 1. This is another custom HTML module where we have put in a scalable text that scales perfectly for a responsive and then over here in the right five module position we have the quote of the day and this is another custom HTML module using the Q tag suffix again and as we go into the bottom area here user 27 is our K2 content wall again and here's another layout for the K2 content wall and each one of these is a K2 content wall showing the different categories. So 
US news, world news, business news. These are all K2 content walls. So let's go over here and check out the Write 6 modules. Write 6, this is the authors, this is the K2 avatar wall, and what we're doing is we're showing K2 authors here with their image, their title, and the description here. Going down to the poll module, this is the J votes component and module. It's a free polling module from the J votes guys. You can go and download that for free. It comes packed with the template. Uh, you can find more information in the documentation. And over here, another advertisement using the border suffix. Just a custom HTML module, also in write six. Again, here's write six with the latest chatter. And this is our K2 comment wall. This is showing comments from the K2 articles. And this has that Q tag suffix applied to it. Archives, this is actually the K2 tools module. And you just set it up for archives and it'll go ahead and show the different archives from the months. And then down here in bottom one, two, three, and four, we have core Joomla modules just uh, with the menu module showing different menus that we've set up. And then we have the <coughs> custom module down here, which is the footer module. And it's just a custom HTML module. So now we're going to go in and take a look at some more of the template. So here we've got the extensions that are included. Uh, Jom Social. This does not come with a template, but we do provide a theme for Jom Social. This is Jom Social 3. So as you see, we've got a nice theme designed for it. And then we can go over here to Kanena. This is the free Kunena forum. It's a forum component. So this is a nice forum and we have it totally styled for the template. And then you've got your K2, which we'll check out in a minute. Um, let's look at event list. Event list is, as it says, it's an event component and it's for Joomla 2.5 only right now. So there is no 3.0, so the 3.0 version does not include it. The ACY mailing, the J voting, and our reading list, which we'll get at a little later. So let's look at the J content. Here's the J content, and as you see, we've got it styled nicely. We can go ahead and read more. And here's the full content page. Over here again, we've got our K2 content wall and the authors over here. And we can check out the two column category. Styling for search. And let's go ahead and check out the different styles that we give you. The first style is our blue style. The second style is a gray style. The third style is a red. And the fourth is green. So let's go back to style one and let's go ahead and take a look at the K2 component. So we're going to look at the standard K2. Here we have the K2 one column. As you see, it's styled just the same as the Joomla content. We've got the read more here. Let's go ahead and check out the article on Madonna. As you see, we've styled up K2 custom here just for the template. So here's your image, your text, down here the author, the latest from the author, the video. And we have styled the comments, but we've turned comments off on the demo here. So let's go ahead and check out the uh, K2-2 column. K2-2 column. And we've got the K2 user page. This shows all the articles from a user. Of course, over here we have our K2 wall, the category wall to take you right to the different categories. And as well, we have different module suffixes in the template, and you can view all the module suffixes here. As you see, we've given you different 
styles for each color. Then you have your Q tag, your image frame, your border wrap, and then a bunch of icon styles. And now let's check out the reading list. Come here to our reading list. And this is the Joomla Ecstasy reading list. So when you log in to the site, you'll be able to add articles to your reading list. So when you go here, you'll see all the articles you've added to your reading list. You can also share those with people by email. And this is just a great way for your users to go in and save articles and share articles with their friends. And now let's check out the regions. All of our templates come with uh, regions with our ecstasy framework. And basically it's explained like this. The top area here is not a region. This is the header area. It's always going to remain like this. But this area right here that isn't even on, which is inset, the inset modules in it, is region 1. Now we're looking right here. This is all region 2. Region 2 has the user 1 through 6 and the right 2. To give you an idea, let's go ahead and look at the layout. So you can see here. See, all this is core in it. Then you have your region 1 is inset. Region 2 holds the left, user 1 through 6 in the right. Region 3 has the component and more modules left and right. Region 4, 5, and 6. So the nice thing about this is you can basically prototype your site really easy by just selecting the regions and seeing which layout you like. You can also go ahead and link different pages to different layouts. So here's the original layout. Let's flip things around a little bit here by changing it up. So as you see now we have the categories up here on the top. And we scroll down and then we've got the media, then we have the latest news at the bottom. And we can go ahead and continue on that and try something else. Here's another region layout. I'm going to go down here and then we have the categories here, quote of the day. Same down here. And as you see, when you switch these regions, there's a few things you might have to change. Like um, right here, as you see, there's no bottom padding on this. Every region can have a top and bottom padding. Uh, due to the original layout, this has no bottom padding on it. But if you want to go ahead and use this region layout, you can just go in the template administrator and add some padding on the bottom there. And that'll all fit perfectly. So let's go back up here and check out a few more regions. Another example, I believe the videos are going to be on top now. Videos on top, again, this is one of those issues with the padding, but that kind of looks cool there with it hammered against there nicely. And let's go here to the layout. This is a very simple layout. This is just 2, 3, and 9. You are always going to want to have the third region in because that holds your component. So if you don't have the third region on, then any other page you go to that's showing a component won't show. I'm going to go down here and see. There you go. It's a very simple site. So if you want something that people don't have to scroll, you just want to show a little bit, you can do it like that. Then I have one more example of that here. Okay, so now let's go back here to the very first region layout. And let's conclude this video uh, by showing you the responsive nature of the site. Okay, so we're going to drag the browser view in. And we're going to start to see some scaling here. Of course, you see that we reduce the padding on the menu. And then we shrink the text. It loses the bold to give it enough room here. And as you see, the latest news text is scaling. And we're going to come in here at right around um, 900 pixel rate. We're going to switch everything to one single column. And now we have the mobile menus. <clears throat> so now let me uh, explain this right here. This is the menu right one that I told you about. We just replace the menu that was down here. We go ahead and hide it at this level. And then here at the menu right one, we have this module, which is the menu module, but it's in the mobile view and we show that at the 900 view. 
So now we have the categories and we have the main menu as mobile. And let's pull it in a little more here. And as you see now, <clears throat> we're down to the one column view. Still have the videos, uh, still have the categories. And uh, here we've moved the categories that were on the right here in the user 22 position. And we're going to come down here. As you see, everything is nice in one column. Come down here. The authors has moved to the two column. You have your poll, the archives have adjusted nicely. The menus are now two column. And let's go ahead and come up here and let's check out what it's going to look once you get to the phone view. So let's pull it in. See, once we come in like this, the search gets wrapped. And the text starts to center. And then as we get even closer in, we go ahead and we snap the main menu just to a button. And the categories here come in even closer. And the categories title goes away. So down here we've got our phone view. And yet again, everything is nice in here. As you see, we've turned off the video section with the tabs and everything in one column. So that's going to conclude this tutorial video. Uh, we'll have another tutorial video for you soon that shows you the full administration side of Tribune Times. And we'll see you next time.